Hello, YouTubers. Pancake. And some Prussian Fusiliers finished. These are all Perry. Turned out alright. Thrashed them out to be fair because I've got a game this afternoon so I just finished them off this morning. So I've not really done any paint. I started them last week and then I got a battalion done and then I just went mad. And in three days I've, I've done all those. I've just finished the bases off this morning. But uh, they're all right. These are part of the 24th, which we reserve in the first uh, first division. You got first 24th, second 24th, and then these are the 24th Fusiliers. I do need some Prussian cavalry next. So whether it will be well, Perry or Calpe, I don't know. But it would have been nice if somebody did some plastic ones. But. I can't have everything. Uh, just lately I've been spending a lot of time down in Warhammer World. Uh, having my dinner mainly down there because the food's fab. But uh, anyway, went down there yesterday while the wife was in Nottingham I shot over. I uh, picked up this guy Praetor. And I said my son could have him for his Sons of Horus but I'm going to knock the Sons of Horus on the head now. And it's up to him whether he buys any more or paints. That's up to him because I'm going to start a thousand sums when I've done my desk at Odd. That is in. And I also picked up Predator, Forge World Predator. Oh, God, I have some issues with this. Now, I've done a couple of rhinos, no problem. But I decided to do this whilst watching World at War on the TV in the kitchen. First mistake I did is I snapped one of these. I glued it so it could move up and down, left and right. And then I started watching the tele and some glue had leaked, so it, it stuck. So when I went to pull it, I snapped the old sponson. So then I had to glue it solid. So now then I've had to glue the other side solid. So that was the first boo boo. Then whilst watching what it was, I did the tracks wrong. I put the left tracks on the right side and the right tracks on the left side. And then the third boo boo wasn't noticed till I posted a pic on the Facebook page 30k noobs and I've got the twin link last cannon option on it. Now I've not looked at the rule book, <laughs> so I, I thought you could do that, but apparently you can't. But when the cabinet in the Forge world, in Wormer world, it's got a twin link last cannon on and then it's got thing down here, a piece of paper thing, or whatever you want to call it, where Horus Heresy symbol, the eye, the eye of Horus, I mean, and everything else in that cabinet is 30k, so I'm assuming you could do it, but John Moggy McCree, thank you mate, pointed out that you can't, it's, it seems to be a thinking that the Space Wolves will be able to, and Blood Angels are the only ones that will get the option of upgrading it to Twin Link Glass Cannon, so I've able to put the basic Predator Cannon on, which is pretty crap against uh, heavy armoured stuff. Uh, so if I'd have known that, I'd have picked another version. But nonetheless, it's a nice, nice piece of kit. Don't get me wrong. Nice chunky bit of rain. Oh, it makes it quite weighty. Um, also, Age of Sigmar. I've got this Slaughter Priest. Now I didn't buy him. Well, I did, but he, he come free with the uh, White Dwarf. Pretty cool for a free mini. You can't grumble. Oh, yeah. Even on there, you know, I mean, if you take him off there, off the cork, he's pretty big. He's a bit of a beast. So there's those. Magazine time. War Games Illustrated. Picked this up this weekend. Um, still about, main bits about this is about raids. You know, small raiding parties and that. And he's got this pan armoured Panzerfaust. It's like World War One, but there's the orcs and dwarves and gnomes and... All that shit. It's got your usual historical stuff in. So yeah, get my teeth into that next few days. Uh, also, obviously, we're getting the free uh, Age of Sigma Slaughter Priest. I did get the White Dwarf. Now, I used to buy this years ago, even though I didn't really collect uh, Games Workshop stuff. Well, I did, but I didn't really play it or do it with it. But uh, it's awesome. It's so thick, it's unbelievable. It's massively thick. Um, 
it's not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not a fanboy, a GW fanboy, but I like gaming. And if something makes me happy, be it collecting it, painting it, or rolling dice on the table with it, then, you know, I don't really care. That's me. I mean, there's a lot of hate for GW, but you can't knock what they do. There's some cracking stuff here. All right, it's got its uh, usual advertisement in, but mate, the content in here is, is unreal. Massive battle reports. You got new stuff in here. The Taylor Four Gamers is back. You know, some Golden Demon stuff, 30k. You know, the advertisement there. But it's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff. They've crammed so much into this. So, yeah, I've got my reading for the week. You know, I take some, take them to work and read them in my, uh, my dinner break and, and that. Uh, this afternoon, I've got a bar report coming up. Prussians v French. So that'll be up later. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Bye!